So if you watch my channel, you notice that more and more I've been using snap-on weights rather than slider weights. I get asked about this a lot, so I thought I'd make a video about it. I have almost completely abandoned using sliding weights, especially when kokanee and trout fishing. I'm using just these snap weights. I just snap on line here, putting three ounces on and dropping this down, catch some kokanee. So today I thought I'd go over why I've made this transition, why I think it's allowed me to be more productive when I'm on the water, catch more fish. And it's just a technique that um, I've really come to enjoy using um, because it's taken a lot of the headache out of using cannonballs to get down to kokanee and trout that are feeding at depth if I don't want to use my downrigger or can't use my downrigger um, because I only have one downrigger I need the other rod to get just as deep. Alright. So when you are using these snap weights you're gonna retrieve your rod just like you would any other time you're fighting a fish. Uh, for kokanee I'm gonna retrieve this a little slower and then I'm going to be conscientious about the where on the line I placed that snap weight and so I put it at around 40 feet so as I get close to 40 feet on the line counter I'm going to keep an eye out for my weight and if you got somebody else in the boat this is really easy but I just swing this up to me grab it and then as I release this I'm going to do a little bit of speed on the kayak just to keep the pressure on it and that way any slack is taken out really quickly and I can just start fighting the fish. I usually just throw the weight down in between my legs. Um, I've learned because of the scupper holes if I throw it on the bottom of the, the kayak it'll just roll out and sink to the bottom. So, But just have a little tray or something you can toss it in so that uh, you'll be able to place your snap weight in the same place time after time. Then it's just a matter of bringing your fish in. Okay. Yes. Biggest kokanee net in the world. So one of the main reasons I've transitioned to a snap weight is that normally the weight would be really close to the dodger. And if you drop back too fast, you're gonna get tangles. I'm sure anyone who's run sliding weight rigs for kokanee has tangled at least once. It is something that new anglers really struggle with because they don't know how to keep pressure on the line and keep a correct pace in terms of dropping line back but with this what i'm going to do is i'm going to let out 40 feet of line or more um, you can let out more or less this is also kind of the cool thing about snap weights is there's a lot of versatility in how you choose to fish them but i'm going to go out 40 feet on my line counter and then i'm going to clip in my snap weights so i'll just grab my line it's just a compression clip snap in there's a little nipple in there that can't slide past back out now i can just drop this thing super fast i can just let it plow down there because the weight is 40 feet away from my gear there's no way it's going to swing down and catch up with my gear i can get back into the strike zone really quickly without any fear of having a tangle which is great oh there he is Got him on turn. And see, this is the thing. If I had been dropping back slowly, I'd still be dropping back and wouldn't have got that gear down into that strike zone really fast. And this just allows me to be fishing more effectively more of the time. There's always somebody with a two-stroke nearby when I catch a fish. Swing it in, grab it, speed up, keep pressure on them. It's all good. Okay, so here's the snap, but here's the snap. I'll put a link to these on Amazon. They're uber cheap. Don't buy the expensive ones from like the walleye websites that are ripped off. I open this up, you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little nipple in there. You see that real red nipple that sticks out? And then there's a rubber pad here. This won't mess up your line. It won't chafe it up. You can use it on braid monofilament. I've used it on 10 pound braid and it still holds just fine. I'm running 10 pound mono here and smaller and I've had no issues. Uh, some people do have slippage on like really thin fluoro, but if you're running 10 pound or bigger or running braid, you'll have no problem 
then you buy some big dual locks. And the only reason I do the dual lock here, you want a big enough dual lock to get through that plastic tab, right? And then the dual lock allows me to change out my weight really quickly. So I can transition between weights without actually having to bring my gear all the way in because I can still have 40 or 50 foot paid out. I'm still actually actively fishing if the fish are feeding near the surface and I can just change the weight out really quick, reclip back in and drop back down. It's pretty awesome. So there's the entire setup. And all I'm gonna do is take my line, right? Open up that, make sure it goes past that little red nipple and it's not gonna pull off, not gonna slide. It's very firm, okay? Yep. A little bit of wake here. Now, I don't have to do it on my boat, but if you're running, say, three or four rods with droppers, the snap weights make a really interesting way to sort of stack your gear at the same distance behind the boat, but really keep a nice separation so you can get a little bit of a dodger swarm going back there. So for instance, you might, you know, let out 20 feet, clip in a one ounce weight and then drop that back, say another 50 feet. So you've got, you know, something at, so you have your gear at about 10 foot back behind the boat. And then, then you could clip your rods that are closer to the bow in say let them out say 50 feet and then clip in a three or four ounce weight and let it out 10 to 20 feet and that'll put those dodgers just below your back dodgers so they'll be fishing a little bit deeper but the weights will be very separated so if you end up having to turn or anything you're not going to get those weights tangled on each other but for me the main reason i prefer to fish the snap weights is purely because it essentially eliminates the opportunity for tangles when I'm dropping down and I can drop down much faster and get back into the strike zone where I can catch fish. Oh no, that's a bummer. But that's kokanee fishing. All right guys, I'll see you next time. I will put links to the snaps and snap weights down below. Um, so if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye, guys. Today, I'm definitely not. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. That's a blooper. See you later, buddy. Second chance at life. I have to say, that is not the first time that's happened. Not much room for error in a kayak.